Uh, welcome back. I've just done a peaceful scene of uh, my local, or an abstract of my local pond, lake, small lake, seven, seven islands, which I've painted many times. And I now want to try to do a, a uh, one of the River Wandle, or, or an abstract based on, on the River Wandle and my impressions of it. And I'm going to do a blue, bluish sky. So blue, white, where's my palette? What's it quite to? Uh, I'll mix a bit of red with that. And we'll just get that plopped on. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of this PVA glue that I've got diluted in my pot here, just to help it flow a bit for the under painting. friend because the teachers are having an, what they call an inset day, which is a bit of a, bit of a uh, sort of a snow scene. So just, just a bluey grey. The thing is to enjoy your painting, so have, have fun with it, don't get frustrated with it because it doesn't go right. We all get those. A little bit of grey, grey in there. Yeah, I've primed this board with um, <coughs> <coughs> with some uh, PVA glue diluted and a material called or powder. It's a plaster, fine plaster called Easy Fill. Easy fill. I think that's what it's called. The customer gave it to me on Saturday. When I did a job for him, and it, it stays open far longer than the plaster of Paris. That's the same job. It gives the same sort of surface, but it stays. It doesn't go off like uh, plaster does. Let's so put a bit of a bit more dark. I've got a bit of yellow mixed in with that, which I don't really like. But anyway, well... Right. Remember, this is an abstract. So we can take liberties because it's doesn't, not intended to be realism. <coughs> so just a bit of movement in that sky. I don't like that grey. I'm just going to have to clean up the yellow away from that. My red. I've got some yellow from the last painting, a bit too close to the red, and it's mixed with the blue and formed a sort of a greeny grey, a yellowy greeny grey, which is okay if that's the colour you want, but it's not. It's, I want sort of a, a, a mauvey mixture of blue and red for that and white. So we'll let that dry for a bit and we'll put in a bit of a, a bit of a, some trees. Uh, so let's, have, let's go for the black and the black, red, burnt sienna for
que no se jalen. Es muy simple. No, I don't know, there's so many times it's sort of, sort of view, but everyone turns out different and they're, they're, they're great to do. So. Okay, I'm more on the blue side, I think. On my river, we can put them in, in the dark. Oh, maybe not, we'll just do a, do a scene, like a meadow type of scene. On the, well, the actual Wonderwall ride, looking at one of the parks. some other colours in that. Enhance, abstract. I'm using very cheap acrylics, pardon the white. I'm using the, uh, the real colour acrylics, which are very, very good. Apart from the white, which is a bit thin. We can put some snow on this when it dries. And a bit of green in there. Because we have a lot of ivy in the, in the uh, trees. And we, we paint that sort of a warm, warm green. And a bluer green on the other side. Some warm grass is poking through. Okay, now we'll put in some, some nice. Nice snow. Slightly blue because it's reflecting the the land, the shape of it. A, we can go a bit darker now. The shadow. You're right. I'm going to dry that off a bit before I start going over this. I need some blue in there because that's just a little bit out of balance there. It's too much, too much of a contrast between one side and the other. 
faux when I go in with that darker blue, blue red. Oh, let's just get that on there. on that green there. I've just changed it. You can change it at any time you like the acrylic. It's so easy. Sometimes you get some other colours in your not ready to put the snow back on there. Right, that's a bit better. Now we'll go in with some darker shadow in the, in the uh, The light's kind of going to come from here. I'm going to put a bit of sunlight in. And like that. The snow, try, try to get away from the idea that snow is white. It reflects what's around. But we're just in, we just enhance it, just exaggeration. Now we're going with some, some slightly bluey white. Just soften all these edges now. Okay, so I've just dried off a bit more, and I want to I want to lay that back even more now. doing a masterpiece here of one of my forest scenes. That's lovely, that is. Yes, I like that. That's abstract. Unreal. That's good. Right, okay, now we're going with the, uh, with the laying back a bit. Just dragging over, uh, over it all with a lighter colour. Now we're going back into the into the snowy laden sky. I'm not going to paint snow dots. Right. Just just snow sticking on the uh, branches. Oops. No, it's too, we lost that bit, let's just put that back now. Right, now we'll put a bit of sunlight in there, breaking through. Let's 
Let's get that feathered up around there. Okay, that's it. And then we can just show a little bit of bit of that colour coming through the landscape, through the snow bit. It's reflecting on the on, on those high spots. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna do on that. Oh no, I was gonna change that, wasn't I? I didn't like that. Just want the blue. The red in the the mix. No. That's too just a little bit, bit of a that's better. Just in, enhance the the sunlight. Okay, we'll put that in a mount or in the frame. Um, okay, we'll have a have a look at it. So one of our schools is closed today for teacher training, and so it makes it very difficult for some of the working mums to find care for their children for that extra day. That's really good. And so. We don't mind. Oh, this is clean. That's a snow scene. Hey, Do you want to say hello to YouTube? Hello. Is, is that right? <laughs> so we've got to keep him occupied. All right, keep me occupied. Okay, so there we are, a, a simple snow scene. Uh, the sun may be a warm sun, a bit of a warm glow, which is not really reflecting in the... But well, I'll put a bit more white on that, just my feet, my toes. Uh, I don't use the trees. Yeah, they look like trees, don't they? Yeah. Because I sold you they're trees, so you think, ah, oh, trees. And you start to... Your brain then goes into overdrive. Oh, yeah. Cherries. Right, for that time, we're going to do more soon, too, than that. So, that's a nice, I think it's quite a nice little abstract. So I could probably put a little bit of red in there. I like red, red gives a bit of a focal point. A bit of orange. Oops. Right, just just adds a little bit of uh, relief to the general background of what I think, anyway. So there we are. Thanks for watching. I'll, I'll just zoom you in. You can have a little look around what I've done. I put them in heavy to start with and I've reduced them as they dry. It's very easy to do with acrylic because it dries so quickly. Okay, let's just come out of that. Leave you with that for a few seconds. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye.